Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Star Trek The Dice Game. This is a free-to-play mod that you can download on Tabletop Simulator. Tabletop Simulator is typically 20 bucks, though I believe it's on sale right now, don't quote me on it, for about 50% off. So Star Trek The Dice Game is based off of an actual print-and-play game. Um, I didn't know this, but uh, someone made a print-and-play Star Trek The Dice Game back in 2016-ish? And, yeah, I never knew about this, and if, if I had known, I would have tried it long before now. Um, so, yeah, I was browsing Tabletop Simulator, came across this, and I was like, this can't be based off of an actual game. Well, yes, it is. So, we're going to try it. Um, just full disclosure, though, this is my first time playing it. I did read the rules that were situated over here, but um, I've been under the weather, and I don't know what's going on. Headache, chest pain, I don't know. So, um... I haven't had the full necessary time to, like, play a full game and get used to how this is played, and, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to do that. But I may get a rule or two wrong, but I, for the most part, I think I know what I'm doing. What we're doing here is we're trying to complete our five-year mission. So, like Star Trek, there's a five-year mission, so uh, this is the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, so on. There are different difficulty levels. Um, there's easy there's medium, there's hard, Kobayashi Maru. So you pick whatever difficulty you want. Uh, the number next to the difficulty is how many dilithium crystal reserves you get. That's your fuel. You have to complete the current year before the dilithium crystal reserves run out. Okay. And let's go ahead and put easy back. And you can see the current effect of that year that you're on. To complete a year, you have to complete the mission card. There is a deck of mission cards, which I'll shuffle right now. Over here to the left, we're going to draw one, put it here, and we'll start trying to complete it. In most cases, it's a step-by-step. -step. you got to do this, then you got to do this, then you got to do this. And then when you complete it all, before the dilithium crystal reserves run out, um, you'll be able to move on to the next year. The mission card goes away, you draw a new one, and so on. So this is a dice rolling game, as the name implies. These, it's like a worker placement game. You're going to be rolling these dice, and then you're going to be assigning them to these various spots on the Enterprise. There's engineering here. There's medical over here. There's science there. Command. Security. Lastly, scanners. Scanners are bad. Um, whenever you roll a scanner, you have to put it on the scanner space and... Unfortunately, it's locked in there. You can't remove it. Whenever the scanners are full, meaning all four all four spots are full of dice over a period of time, you'll have to draw an event card. And usually those are bad. You have to resolve those with dice as well. Luckily, there are things to help you out. Deployments. There are three deployments that are up at all times. Uh, three are drawn at the beginning of the game. And if you manage to assign dice to these cards, you'll gain their permanent ability. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's all in there. Um, as far as manipulating dice, you can spend two science to, ma to make it a medical, two medical to be a science. And the same thing here with the uh, engineering and security, the star being security. I just find that weird. Um, and then any three dice can be any one dice that you want. The typical round plays out mission, deplete crystal reserves, only if you have a, an active mission. So you would skip that for the first turn. Uh, refresh mission, activate uh, mission actions. Uh, whenever we flip a mission card over here, there's going to be something that you have to resolve, and that's when you would resolve it here. Deployment, you call all your dice back to you, except for the ones that are locked into some kind of event or scanners, that kind of thing. Report for duty, meaning you roll the dice and then you deploy. And then you clean up, return crew dice to quarters, discard completed missions, discard completed events, and claim completed developments. So yeah, um, what you're trying to do, there's also a um, shield and hull value. The shields start off at zero at the beginning of the game. Um, you can spend your dice in order to raise them to full. Um, whenever the shields are down, um, you'll start taking hull damage. When the hull gets to zero, any damage that you take after that, you have to put dice that are assigned to quarters or to the Enterprise over here to the left into the sick bay. If all of your dice are in sick bay, uh, that's it game over. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Like I said, I've never played it before, and I'm sure I'm going to get a, a rule wrong or two. Apparently, there's also an expansion to this. Uh, I found this away team exp... Oh, 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 come back. 
Come back. There we go. So if you want the away team expansion rules, there's a set of stuff like this in here. I may try that out at some point. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and put, put this all... Where did the bag go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, I got it off the board. Still learning tabletop simulator, clearly. All right, let's put this back over here. Let's put that... I guess I can't put this back in the bag, so I'll just have to throw it over there for the time being. Or, you know what? We'll just delete it. That works, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, we need, we can't deplete our crystal reserves on our first turn because we do not have an active mission card. Second, refresh mission. Let's go ahead and do that now. What does it say? Routine cargo drop. Um, during the mission event phase, we're going to draw an event card. Uh, these are the things that we have to do. Travel, transport, event, influence, develop. And you can see what we need to do that. Two engineering icons. Uh, we need uh, two she uh, a shield and one engineering. We need to draw one. Uh, okay. So, yeah, different things are going to happen. I, again, I don't haven't played the game to know if I'm doing it right. But uh, my, my goal today is to expose this game to you in the hopes that, you know, you may want to learn it yourself and play it properly. All right, so we need to activate mission actions, which is draw an event. So we're going to go ahead and draw this event. This is scanner malfunction. Place a token on one of on one scanner station. This station the station is blocked. Okay, so we're going to put that there. So in order that means that only 3 of these need to be filled with dice in order to draw an event. So because these events are bad, it's even worse. So we don't want to roll any scanner tokens if we can help it. All right, so we've done that. Now we're going to move over to roll call. That means we're going to collect all of the dice. We're going to pick them up. Let's go ahead and maybe roll them off to the side here, and then we'll figure out what to do with them. Let's just... Okay. That's actually a good roll. No scanner tokens. Okay, so based on this die roll, I'm going to go ahead and just maybe drag these back over here to the... just to the board. So I can, I can look around... So, um, do I want to claim, let's see, this medical tricorder, add two med to one challenge, and then, uh, discard it. So these are, like, one-use abilities here. This boosted sensors, the clear sensors action clears two threat, the threat being, uh, the, this is the dice face for that. Okay. Um, okay, so what are we gonna do? These are the actions we can take. Uh, communicate, uh, calm challenge or orders. Orders, uh, the way orders work for the yellow dice, you can um, have it be any other dice. So you can flip a die to any other die with the orders button. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here real quick and make sure I've got that right. Game turn. Crew dice. Yep, command orders. Change one other crew dice to a result of your choosing. So I could do that with that and make one of these dice something else. I've got a lot of engineering. Uh, my first goal is travel for two engineering. So I could put all the dice back and unselect. There we go. So I could do like a a one, two kind of thing. And that in theory should, should satisfy that particular goal. So I'm, I'm going to put maybe a yellow token on the one just as a reminder that I completed it. Now, I don't know if you can complete multiple steps in one go or not. Um, if I take a look at the roll book real quick. Event cards. Nope. There we go. Mission cards. They're shuffled. Yep, yep. Broken down in numbered stages. Tracking token. As each mission stage is completed, the token is moved to the next stage. So, I mean, I don't want to, like, hold this video up for too long, but it sounds like I can, you know, move this to the two spot and then try and do this as well. Whether or not I can on the same rule is beyond me, but, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else I've got. I've got this science. I've got some uh, command here. What do the other dice do? Science. Raise or lower shields. Well, I like to lower shields, uh, or to raise shields, rather. I can heal. Uh, if there are any dice in the sick bay space, then I can use a medical die to heal them. Engineering, uh, I can repair hall value with that. I don't need engineering right now, besides for the challenge. Security clears a sensor, but I can't clear that sensor. I do have this card up here. Let's go ahead and put that there and that there, and that'll clear this event 
uh, come the end of the turn. So I've got these dice left to use. I'm going to go ahead and use a science to raise our shields to five. Whenever you raise shields, you do it in full. It's either all or nothing. Um, what else do I have to do? Um, shield one, engineering one. Well, again, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but maybe I can use a command to flip this over to an engineering. And so I'm going to put that there. I've got sh shield and one engine. I'm assuming that means shields need to be up is what I'm assuming. Transport. Shields and one engineering. That's what I'm assuming. So I've used this dice to change that. Next is draw one event, which I'm guessing will occur um, during, you know, during the next time I would draw an event. So I have to wait on that. I've got these two left. Um, I'm not sure what I would do. I mean, I can't clear this sensor here because there's no nothing to clear. Heal, lower shields. I don't think there is anything else I can do. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for my turn then. So that was all in all a good roll, uh, unless I can assign some up here. Add two calm to one challenge. I could do some. My, I, if I lock the dice up here, then um, I won't have them available to roll on a future turn. But the question is, am I going to want to go for that? Or do I want this dice for the future? You know, I'll keep it for now. Okay, so that is the deploy step. And then clean up. Return crew dice to quarters. Okay, so those go there. Something like that. This is done. So these would come off and this would go away. Just flip that over, I suppose. And what's next? Discard completed events did that. Uh, we didn't complete our mission yet. Claim completed developments. We didn't complete any developments yet. Oh, there's a die over there. And we should have 10 dice again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We do. Okay. So now we're back on to the next, uh, on the round two. Deplete crystal reserves. So now we're on to nine. And we're going to refresh our mission if we need to. We don't need to. Activate the M action, which is the draw event, which is what it says here. We're going to go ahead and draw that. Report to sick bay. Move one active crew dice to sick bay. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and move that one over there. We're going to need a medical thing in order to heal it. Um, next is roll call. And I guess I just discard this after the fact. It says discard. All right. So we're going to pick up our nine dice that we have and give them a roll. Oh, and this, uh, before I roll them, this should go away because I completed the event. There we go. All right. Here we go. We're going to roll. All right, so we've got two. These have to be moved immediately. So we're going to put that over here and that over there. And the rest I can spend on various things. Okay, so I completed this draw one event. Um, so this would move on to influence. I need two calm for that, uh, two command. So I'm going to do one and two. That should complete that. And then development. I just need to draw one development and I complete that year. So um, how would I do that? I don't have enough to do that, honestly. Um, everything here is either blue or yellow. And I, I have just reds. What I could do is I could spend my security. I can go one, two. And their action is clear a sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to clear the sensors. Now, I, I don't think I can use them... I don't resolve them right away, but I'll be able to later. So that leaves uh, these three dice. And the question is, what am I going to do with these three dice? Um, since I need to complete a development, maybe I'll put... Um, hmm, I might want to wait for an easier one. Although this, the clear sensor is actually clear. I like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a die there. And that leaves these two with more security and engineering. I don't think I can do anything else with that. Repair hall. No. All right, so that, that ends that. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't heal this guy over here, so he stays in sick bay. We're going to return crew dice to quarters, and that includes these sensors because my security officers got rid of them. Uh, I'm going to keep that one there on the boosted sensors. 
I'm going to go ahead and move these back, and I should have eight dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, one's in sick bay, and one is up there. Okay, so now we're on to the third round. Uh, we're going to deplete crystal reserves by one more. There we go. We're going to refresh our mission if we need to. We don't. Next is activate the M actions. All right, so that would be draw event again. So we're going to go ahead and draw a new event. Uh, scanner malfunction. Place a token on one scanner station. This Again, fun stuff. We're going to go ahead and block this off. What? She got out. How did Sarah get out? She was at my feet. All right, well, let's... All right, well, first we'll say hi to the camera, <laughs> and then let's close the door. As much as they like... Well, we'll keep the window open, but yeah. Mm. We have an escapee, apparently. It's Sarah. <laughs> say hi to everyone. Hi. Okay, all right, I know. You're looking around. You, you really don't come down here very often, so you're really excited. Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You done? Yeah, go ahead and take okay. it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So I had to block off this scanner station. And I did that. Okay. And what's next? Uh, roll call. So I have to roll all of my dice again. I'll just roll them right here next time. Let's just do that. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've got a lot of command there. We're going to block off that and block off that. Lots of command, so we can always... You know what? Let's go ahead and use our medical. So we can clear this die off sick bay at the end of the turn. We've got this science here. And what I could do is I could spend this die to change another command die into... What just happened? <laughs> this went into my hand. Not what I wanted to do. All right, let's go ahead and move that. I hit three to change the dice, but I think that did something else. All right, one, two. Let's try that again. One die to change another die. What the heck? Oh, so maybe I can't... I, I have to, Maybe I can't hover my mouse over it when I hit the three key to change the dice. That might be it. Three seems to take it into my hand for some reason. All right, we'll do it over here. There we go. Three, two, four, five. It's five. Okay. So we, we used one command die to switch over another die. And that means we've completed this development. Uh, so whenever we grab that, um, we have to draw one whenever it comes time to do that. So we'll, we'll complete our mission at the end of this round. So we've got these two left. Um, what are we going to do with these two? Um, I'm going to use one command to flip this over into a security, I think. Um, so I'll make that whatever diet. Yeah, no, security. There we go. That way we can clear one of these sensors. Oh, wait. I just realized we've got this sense, this scanner malfunction to deal with. Well, we could wait on completing this. I could take these two back, make this a command, and... Hmm. I don't like... Well, you know what? We can have multiple events. Um, we may need to make some room. What just happened? I think I... Yeah, let's move that over. We can have multiple events up at the same time. So um, I may need some extra room for this at some point. All right. So as far as this, we'll just go ahead and lock... Yeah, let's go ahead and take out one of those. And that means this is used for that. Okay. So we've used all of our, our dice... And now comes the return crew dice. So let's go ahead and we've used our medical to heal this guy. Um, these come back. This this security officer takes out one of those. Um, now here's the thing. When do I collect the development? Claim, oh, the claim completed development would appear after. So meaning that I would not be able to take off both scanner dice because I don't collect this until after dice are resolved. So uh, now we're on to um, discard completed missions, discard completed events, claim completed uh, developments. Okay, so these come back because we've completed this development. And this will, this will stay in front of us now for the rest of the game. We'll just put that down there. 
we don't need to put three dice here to activate it. This All we're looking at now is the boosted sensors, the top half of this card. And then we're going to draw a new one. Now, because we've drawn a new one, this should now be completed, this draw new development. So that's done. Um, now, here's the thing. The discard completed missions doesn't happen until before. So I have to go through another round before I can actually do this. So we'll, we'll complete this next round so that stays there am i missing anything one two three four five six seven eight nine okay all right on to the next one deplete crystal reserves we're on to seven refresh mission we don't need to activate mission uh okay so we're going to draw a new event and that one is quarantine reroll medical dice once okay so if we get any medical dice we have to reroll them and then we'll just discard i'm guessing Interesting. So it doesn't say to discard after the fact. Um, I have to wonder if that would carry over from round to round. If it does, that's pretty nasty. All right. Um, roll call. We'll go ahead and just grab these nine dice. We're going to go ahead and roll them. Hopefully we don't get any of those uh, scanner sensor things. And we got one. So let's move that over there. We need to clear some of these events out for next turn. So, unfortunately, we did not... Oh, we have to re-roll the med medical dice, which is fine because no one is sick. So, and no one... I really don't need these except for this medical tricorder. So, we're going to re-roll these medical dice. Oh, that is nasty. Okay, so that means that we've got that. And now we have to resolve a new event because the sensors are full. This one says... Uh, M2 hall damage. So if we do not complete, if we do not get rid of this card before the next M action, on the, uh, then we're going to take two hall damage. It'll bypass our shields. So we've got a lot of events to clean up here, unfortunately. Uh, these would go away, I think. And then, yeah, any others, any others are simply discarded as well. I don't think they're added to this. Okay, again, I could be wrong. So I've got one science, um, hull damage, do we have engineers? We have a lot of security officers, unfortunately. Um, two security can be one engineering, so I could do something like, um, I want to get rid of this here. So if I put two here and one there, that'll clear, that was, ugh, I was trying to flip the dice and end up taking the card, that is annoying. All right, so put that there. And one, two, three. Okay, so again, two security can be one engineering. Um, these don't, aren't active though right now. So it's just this com these two command dies and the one security die. Um, maybe I can... Um, I'd like to address this, but I don't have enough dice to do it. Uh, what are my actions? Just, yeah, not a whole lot of options here. Well, I could add two security to one challenge, but there's no security uh, things needed. Medical, that's, and again, that's, we don't even know what challenge is coming up yet. Add two communications to one challenge. Eh. I think I think we need to start assigning them here and get rid of them. So that we're getting rid of that one. Then there is this two hall damage. I think what we're gonna do is we're going to assign. We're gonna get rid of this one command die. I'll just put it down here, and then we're gonna spend this one on that card. There, we'll move it later, and that leaves this. We have nowhere to put it. Um, I think I think what I have to do is do that, and then. Yeah, I think they should be assigned to the ship when I do that. All right, that leaves this. Nothing else to assign, though, so I think that's it. I, I could put it up here, but I may want to save that for a future die roll. Okay, so next up, we've got return crew dice to quarters, so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to do that. This card was completed. So we're going to flip that over, and that goes away. I'm going to put that there in its place and put that, say, right there. That was assigned to this card up here. Those go back. Okay, I think we're good. 
And discard completed events. Well, or missions rather. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that off to the side. We've completed this mission. And now we are on to year two. We've completed the first year. We've completed our first mission. And that's that. Whenever you complete a mission, you're going to reset your dilithium crystal reserves back up to 10 for the second year. And as you can see, the more you play on the fourth and fifth year, like the fourth or fifth mission, you're going to have some extra things to contend with. And again, these get nastier depending on what difficulty you play on. So yeah, um, really cool game so far. I, I, I want to play this more off camera just to understand more of the game and get a feel of it. But, um, you know, as an introductory... As an introductory to this, I, I'm, I'm very impressed that one person managed to make this, and there's a print and play out on BoardGameGeek, I think, should you want to print it out and play it yourself. But again, if you have Tabletop Simulator, you can also play it here as well. All right, so uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.